guys what's up what's up what's up welcome to Tammy book lover today guys I'm going to talk about Rhapsody but before I get into the book I would like to thank you guys for all subscribing to my channel you guys are amazing I really appreciate you and continue watching my books okay so again I'm talking about Rhapsody written by Kenya Wright this book is a BWWM book main characters of this book are Jean Pierre um, Eden Aunt, um, Selena and Shem Shalimar, Raphael, and Louis. The book basically takes um, is about um, Jean Pierre in search for his his violin that he lost when he was away, and now he found it. And instead of finding his violin and taking it away, he found the person that owns it, and it, she became his obsession. This book is really. It's a mafia romance novel. I really enjoy this book. I'm not going to lie to you. I love the the concept of it because I'm I'm a romance person all the all around. I love the happy ending, sappy move, sappy movies. So that's just me. So this book really draws to me. So Raphael Raphael and Jean Pierre are um are French mafias. Yes, French mafia. So Jean Pierre is a head, but well, yeah, he's ahead, and Raphael is his basically second in command. They do everything coincide. So Jean Pierre was in search for his violin, and he found Eden. Eden is the new owner of the violin. So instead of coming to collect for the violin, as I said before, he fell in love with Eden. Eden became his obsession. Aunt Celine has been Eden's only only caretaker because her mom passed away a few years ago and her father went to the mountains to find himself. So Celine was the only family she had. When Celine found out that Jean-Pierre became interested in Eden, Celine took it up a notch and she used her connections to basically protect Eden from Jean-Pierre. Knowing the fact that Jean-Pierre would do anything in his powers to get Eden. Anyway, with that being said, Celine basically manipulated her niece to be um to work for her brothel. Aunt Celine is a, a madame, and she basically wanted Celine under her roof so she could protect her from Jean Pierre, not realizing that Jean Pierre had access to her brothel. When you read the book, you will see the different dialogue between Celine and Jean Pierre, and why you um you why would you why you would think that um Celine think Jean Pierre wouldn't be in the brothel. Anyway, she hired her niece to become a um, the violinist there, and she was doing such a great job. She got tips. She got everything. She was just doing anything to basically make ends meet. Throughout this process, Jean-Pierre became more obsessed with Eden. He found different ways to get her attention. He found ways to just basically spend alone time with her, and that's really what he wanted because he just, he just couldn't have enough of her. The whole concept of this book, though, was the fact that Aunt Celine and Jean-Pierre both were fighting to protect Eden from each other, which I thought was weird but good at the sense because Aunt Celine, I guess she's trying to basically protect her niece, but at the same time, Jean-Pierre, he was in love with her. And she just didn't want her niece to be associated with Jean-Pierre because she knew what type of man he was. But her niece still ended up falling in love with Jean-Pierre. So she ended up trying to protect it for no reason. However, Jean-Pierre had his own little obstacles because when Celine got involved, she ended up getting the Russian Mafia involved. And then the Russian Mafia was basically now fighting the French Mafia. So there's a whole bunch of Mafia situation going on there. In this book, you get to meet Kashmir, a.k.a. Cass. Cass is from the Dirty Love series, Dirty series, which also was written by Kenya. This is, series was written before this book. If you guys read that series already or even saw my previous review on that series, you know who Kaz is. So, Kaz is Igor's nephew, and Igor is um, Celine's uh Sugar daddy, you could say. So basically, he's been protecting Celine with the rush, um, by um, supplying her with Russian mafia to protect her niece. So those two parts clash in that book, in the in this book, and you get to read about it. You also get to see Sasha in the book. Sasha is the Kashmir's stepbrother, and he betrayed Kaz. So you see the levels of betrayal that Sasha took in to get back at Kaz. You also get to see um. The different obstacle that Jean-Pierre and Eden had to face to get to 
to become one with each other. Overall, guys, I think this book was a great book. I'm not going to give you the nitty-gritty of the book because I want you guys to read it. And I want you guys to see the different relationship, the different levels, the different um, drastic measures that each character took to, get, um, to protect Eden. Overall, guys, it's a great, great book. But I have some un unanswered questions that I want Kenya to answer for me. And I know this book is a series, so I can't wait to read book two to see if she does answer the question. I want to know if Aunt Selene is really dead. I want to know what happened to Shalimar. I want to know um, if if Kaz and um, Jean-Pierre are going to make amends. I want to know if Raphael and Shalimar are going to get back together. And I think that's it for now. Oh, and I also want to know if Eden and Jean-Pierre will ever get married or even, like, overcome their different obstacles. Those are my five questions that I want to be answered in the next book. But that's just what I want. The author might have a different whole point of view of what she has going on. Overall, guys, as I said, I love the book. I think you guys will love it. I will have a link in my description box below. So please check it out and let me know what you think. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.